Hey everyone, welcome to year 14 of Love MTB. Did you know that I started in August 2010 when YouTube was in its infancy? Anyway, new year, new gear, right? That's what we usually say. And if you are interested in new Shimano brakes, you came to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna cover the current Shimano lineup, starting with Dior all the way up to XTR. Two and four piston. I'm gonna compare these with the previous generation. And if you stick till the end, you're gonna find out what brakes I chose for my latest bike build. So let's get to it. Shimano usually launches new brakes with their new drivetrains. And today we're gonna to be talking about the brakes that were launched with their 12 speed drivetrain. So I'm gonna call them 12 speed brakes here and there. And we're gonna be talking about this Dior 6100. SLX 7100, XT 8100, and finally XDR 9100. They will add a 20 at the end every time you're talking about four piston brakes. But why don't we start first with the levers? Okay, levers, levers, both correct terms just used on either side of the pond. So levers first. And here they are, all four of them, Dior SLX, Here's the XT8100 and the XTR. This is the 9120, more about that later. Right off the bat, you can see how this lever blade is pretty much the same shape on all of them. The only small difference is the fact that here on the SLX and the Dior, you don't have anything this is smooth as opposed to that you can see there's dimples here on the xtr and here on the xt but that's the only difference on the blade itself another difference here it's going to be in the way you adjust the reach in case of the dior you have to reach in with an allen key you look at all the others slx xt xtr you have the adjustment right in here. Again, this is 9120. I keep mentioning it. You'll see why in a second. Another thing you're going to see right away is here. And what I'm pointing at is this is the bite point adjustment. This is disabled on an SLX. It doesn't really exist on the Dior. You look at it here on the XT and XTR. That's usually the screw that doesn't do anything. It does uh, allow you to adjust the bite point. Again, many, many people don't do it. Otherwise, all these brakes use what's called iSpec EV. Of course, it's a new standard for attaching the lever to the bar. And you see that second contact point pretty much on all of them. And as you probably know, Shimano uses mineral oil and you can see that printed here pretty much on each and every one of these master cylinders. And that is your bleed port right here. Again, it's in an identical position on all of them. All these levers from Dior all the way to XTR, all these feature what is called servo wave. And that is nothing more than the leverage ratio here in the lever. So it's not a one-to-one -one pull ratio when engaging the brake pads. The only lever that's different is XTR race. So the two piston XTR, this is made out of magnesium and he has a carbon lever blade. However, it does not include servo wave in it. But otherwise you can see how these levers are very similar between Dior SLX XT XTR with a few features added or subtracted. But how are these levers compared to the previous generation? So 6100 versus 6000. And I don't know why I mentioned Dior because I don't have one, but here's an SLX, so that's a 7000. And we have the 7100 here. And first of all, yes, they changed the color. You can see the graphical elements are changed as well. By the way, I don't like that bluish color of the new ones at all. Otherwise, reach adjustment is the same. Lever blade is absolutely identical. And the biggie is right here. You're looking at iSpec 2 attachment versus iSpec EV. This is one attachment point to the handlebar versus the two. This is supposed to be stiffer. I don't know about that. And also 
servo wave and the new lever is supposed to be better, giving you a bit better modulation. Going back to that XTR race brake, that's the only lever that is unique to the two piston. All the other levers or levers, whichever way you want to call them, all the other levers are common for both two piston and four piston calipers. And you see that clearly here on this XT brake box. Here's the levers 8100 and they would go with either 8100 two piston calipers or with the 8120 four piston calipers. Again, notice the nomenclature. You have the brake pads that they recommend listed all in here. Here's the type of pads that you would use with the two piston calipers. That would be the 8100. Here's your SLX 7100. There's no difference in design between these two aside from the branding and the color or the finish. As opposed to that, you look at Dior, Dior actually has a different shape than the two XT and SLX. And also you look at this uh, pad retaining pin, as opposed to the little bolt that you see here on the SLX and XT. And there's no difference between those two and Dior when it comes to the pads they use. And those same pads would work perfectly on the previous generation two piston calipers. This is an SLX, so M7000. And there's a few other changes on the calipers themselves, again, from the previous generation. You see the banjo used here on XT and SLX. This is attached to the inside of the caliper now. The bleeding port here is at the top, pretty much level with the banjo, as opposed to the new calipers, which have it all the way down to the bottom. That is called one-way bleeding, it is available on the new caliper design that was not available on the previous generation. Also on the Dior, you have the hose directly connected to the caliper. There is no banjo involved. And if you're wondering about that XDR two piston caliper, no, I don't have it. It's sold with a 9100 lever that doesn't have servo wave in it. It is lighter than before, but it uses different pads. Talking about this new generation brakes, they added one more thing, and that is the flat mount caliper that companies like Canyon tend to use. You're gonna find the flat mount caliper on SLX XT and XTR. I don't have one of those with me either, but let's take a look at this four piston uh, caliper because this is very similar to the one provided by XT and SLX. This is the BR9120 made in Japan. I mentioned earlier that even lever in this case is called 9120. That's the lever with servo wave, the one that I showed you earlier. But you look at the caliper, this is very, very similar to SLX. And here it is next to the XT. The big difference being that this one is made out of magnesium. You do have that one way bleeding. You see that port at the bottom. You see it visible here at the bottom as well. So these are very, very similar with each other. And they all use the same pads, the same pads used by the previous generation. You see it here. But when it comes to the finned pads, you see the old generation versus the new. This new caliper is actually shallower than before, hence uh, this new shape of the finned pads, which are smaller than the previous ones. Take a look at this video covering the Dior 4 piston brakes, where I'm talking about compatibility of the old pads with the new calipers. Now, I'm not gonna cover installation in this video, but I'm gonna mention that if you need a quick bleed or just cut the hoses shorter and install Shimano brakes, 
I have a video for it. I will link it up in the, in the corner. If you are interested in doing a proper bleed of a Shimano brake, I have another video I'm gonna make sure to put in the description of the video. If you need other tips and tricks like replacing uh, pads, I have another video for it. I'm gonna make sure that is in the description of this video. Recently, I built a winter bike and what brakes do you think I chose? Well, I went for this, the Dior 6100. So this is the new generation two piston Dior that in my mind is hard to beat when it comes to value for money. It's easy to install, it's reliable. I would argue that 90% of people won't need anything more than this Dior brake. If you are really adamant to go for four piston brake, you can go for the 6120. Those Dior four piston use the old Z caliper. And if you want even cheaper four piston, look at MT520, 420, considered entry level four piston brakes that are great bang for your buck. But I'm curious to hear what kind of brakes you guys need what kind of brakes you guys use. Do you have any questions for me in regards to the Shimano lineup of brakes? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.